Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some historical romance recommendations. I have a bunch of historical romance recs on my channel so I'll be sure to link a playlist down below where you can check out even more recommendations if you want more after this video. So here are 10 historical romance recommendations that I love that I've read recently. First is Nobody's Duke by Scarlett Scott. I love this one. I'm a big cheerleader for this book. Scarlett Scott is so underrated and she writes fantastic historicals and a lot of them, if not all of them, are on Kindle Unlimited. This one gives me Again the Magic vibes, so if you love Again the Magic by Lisa Kleypas, I definitely recommend this one. So our two main characters actually fell in love when they were around like teenage age, I wanna say, but their love is forbidden because they have like neighboring estates. They live on neighboring estates, but their families hate each other. And they planned on actually running away together one night, but for whatever reason, both of them believe that the other one did not show up to the meeting to go run away and they have hated each other ever since. So it's years later and the hero has actually been tasked to become her bodyguard because her husband was recently murdered by some bad people and they think the bad people are out to get the heroine and her young son now. He's there to be her bodyguard and they have history, it's angsty, okay? There's a lot going on there. There's a lot of tension that is absolutely perfect. So the whole time like he's being her bodyguard, he like thinks that she jilted him whereas like she thinks that he jilted her and all this stuff. That kind of sounds like miscommunication, but like it's not miscommunication. Like something happened that I cannot tell you that happened between the two of them. So good. Next I have The Marquess and I by Stacey Reed. This one is a great read also to read in July since it is Disability Pride Month. The heroine of the story is visually impaired. She is blind. It's a second chance romance with our hero. They actually fell in love, I wanna say about two years prior to this book and she basically broke his heart because of something that happened. I can't tell you, I know. Um, and he thinks that she is just like out to ruin him. He's at a ball one night and comes across her and then finds out that she is blind. And when they knew each other years ago, she wasn't blind. So something happened to her, she was in an accident or something. And he feels so hurt that she did not tell him like what happened to her because he's like, I thought we had like at least like a friendship to where she would tell me if she got hurt in some way. Um, and it's kind of them reconnecting and falling in love again. This is a shorter length book, but it is on Kindle Unlimited. Stacey Reed's books in this series are on KU. So if you want to like marathon a whole historical romance series on KU, you should definitely pick up this one. I have a recent favorite of mine. This is The Autumn Bride by Anne Gracie. I'm dying for my library to add the other three books in this series because they don't have them yet. And I'm like, I want them right now. Um, so this is the first book though. They only have the first book. It starts out with our heroine rescuing her sister and two other women from a brothel that they were kidnapped to like be a part of. So she ends up rescuing them and they decide to make a pact right there. that They're all going to become sisters in every way possible. And they're going to help each other to raise money to move out of this city and to go to Bath, to go to like a safer place to live. So they decide to do just that. But then when they're raising money and living in kind of like an attic of some sort, her sister ends up getting sick and she can't think of any way to like save her life other than hopping the window to go to the next estate over, a very rich estate, and stealing something. It's like ruining her morals completely, but she does not want to lose her sister. So she does that, but when she jumps into the window, she finds the room completely barren and a very wealthy old woman basically on her deathbed and no one is taking care of her. She's like, are you good, dude? Like, I know I just jumped into your window to like steal from you, but like, are you okay? And these two actually become friends. <laughs> and this old woman decides to adopt these four women as her nieces. This old woman is very wealthy, has a title and everything, and her nephew catches wind that she's like taking care of four nieces now. And he's like, I don't have any cousins. Like what is going on? And so he goes to investigate because he thinks that these women are taking advantage of his aunt. And then he obviously falls in love with our heroine. It's so fun. And Gracie knows how to write like banter filled conversations and like found family perfectly. If you're wanting a darker read, Obviously there is Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. This one, very dark. So our heroine in this book is actually the daughter to a very notorious pirate. And she basically takes up the mantle for him becoming a female pirate captain. And this book essentially, I can't talk about a lot in this book because it's a major spoiler, this book is huge. Um, but essentially it's about her escaping to men at the same time. Her husband, who is another pirate here, um, and a pirate 
Hunter. Both of them are after her for whatever reason. But this book has probably every single trigger warning you can think of. There's on page SA multiple times, so please be aware of that. Like, I think I have a whole list on my Goodreads review that I don't have pulled up right now. But if you like add me on Goodreads and see like I have a whole list for you there of trigger warnings to look out for because it has like probably every single one you could probably think of. So please take care of yourself. Watch out before getting into this one. Next is The Bachelor Bargain by Madison Michaels. Another great one to read during Disability Pride Month. Our heroine in story actually has chronic pain. She walks around with a cane and it is actually so badass. Like the top of the cane can like detach and become like a sword, like a rapier. <laughs> It's so cool. Anyway, so um, these two characters actually meet one night when they like shouldn't. They're both doing something kind of mysterious and they end up saving each other's lives. Okay, I can't really talk about what this book is about. Like it would be a major spoiler. So just know that these two bump into each other one night in an alleyway and someone saves someone's life. Next I have Yours Until Dawn by Teresa Medrios. This one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So our heroine is hired to be the hero's nurse. The hero got injured in war and he is now blind and so she's basically hired to help take care of him and help him learn how to navigate the world and his home being visually impaired. He does not want a nurse. He does not want someone to baby him. He does not want someone to take care of him. So he is not happy that this woman has been hired to work for him. But there comes, like he starts trying to sabotage her job and <laughs> trying to make her leave and all this stuff. Like he plays pranks on her basically. But there does come a shifting point in this book where he realizes, I think that she can definitely help me learn how to at least like myself again and learn how to live so he takes advantage of that and ends up falling for her and it is so sweet i love this one it definitely starts out with like a gruff grumpy hero who basically hates everyone in the world but the heroine so up all night with a good duke by amy rose bennett is next i really like this one if you love like bookish heroines i recommend this one these two characters actually bump into each other at a bookstore one day the hero is trying to find like a better more suitable appropriate books for his teenage daughter because he caught her reading these like gothic romantic a little bit spicy and violent um gothic romance novels and so he's come to the bookstore to kind of get more suggestions that are more appropriate for her age and he bumps into the heroine and she kind of helps out find some books for him and little does he know that she's actually the author of those books he finds to be like demeaning <laughs> The books he does not like. Um, and anyway, he ends up actually getting in this marriage of convenience with her. And uh, she kind of has to like hide her secret writer identity. Really fun. I love historicals that like interweave writing as well because I think it's just so fun. Another fun one is Don't Want You Like a Best Friend. I adored this book. This is a sapphic read. One of the heroines is coming out to society and the other one has been out for a few years. And they become fast friends when they're out at balls and stuff. And then they quickly realize that their parents, so one of the heroines mother and the other one's father, because they're both like single, they both don't have spouses. They realize that they're like avoiding each other and like something is there between them and they find out that they actually have a history and that they courted each other back when they first debuted and they're both like okay let's try and set our parents up. So it's kind of like a parent trap situation and then these women also end up falling in love with each other along the way. It's a friend lovers romance. It was so good. I love this one. Another one of my favorites is A Nun for the Viking Warrior by Lucy Morris. The heroine of the story is the daughter to a very rich nobleman and he did not treat her very well. She decided to actually become a nun because she does not want to be under the thumb of a man ever again in her life because her father treated her so horribly. But I think the day before she's supposed to take her vows to become a nun, the nunnery doors basically get like broken into and the hero shows up with his men and is like, hey, your dad promised me in marriage to you. And so you cannot become a nun because you're gonna be my wife because I need the estate that your father promised me if I marry you. So that's basically how it starts um, and it's actually really good. I know he sounds really gruff maybe at first and he is but he's also like really awkward and shy and then also sweet like he's a really good hero um and oh my gosh I think about this first kiss scene all the time in my head it's like totally rent free in my head is when he kisses her for the first time like oh it's stunning. And the last one that I have to recommend is actually a novella. This is The Chasing of Eleanor Vane by Sierra Simone. If you want like a fun taboo read, I definitely recommend this one. So our heroine is actually engaged to marry this guy. Think kind of like historical frat boy. Like she's like, ugh, I'm not into him. 
at all. Um, but then she said, I think their engagement dinner or party or something along those lines. And she ends up meeting her fiance's uncle. And ooh, does his uncle give her butterflies in her belly, okay? Um, and he takes one look at her and is like, oh my gosh, she's stunning, gorgeous, wonderful, amazing. Um, and they have to keep their distance because they're very attracted to each other. They start talking more and start actually falling for one another. The heroine actually ends up like, realizing that this is too much, I cannot marry this man, um, and runs away in the middle of a storm. And the hero, the uncle, ends up running after her and they have a moment in a cabin in the rain. And it's so good. If you want like a short historical, but so hot, I definitely recommend this one. Like Sierra Simone does not miss with spice. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 historical romances for you. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a lemon emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.